Hi Cancer, welcome to your general reading for the first part of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. And those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a don donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So your support really means a lot to the channel, to me, helping it grow, being a part of that. So thank you, thank you so much. So can you believe we are in October already? Where is time going? So I have a new uh, setup here. I'm at a new angle. I'm much more comfortable at the table. I have a new mat here for my table with my logo, and I'm decorated for Halloween. So happy early Halloween. All right, so this is for Cancer. Hope everybody's doing well. Going into the Halloween season, into fall now already. I don't know where time is going. So this is your general reading for the first part of October. I will read it general, but if you can fit it into any part of your life, whether it's a love situation, anything like that, you're more than welcome to do that. So, as usual, if you're returning, you know how this works. If not, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so I'll pull a card from here to see what may be around you. Um, first part of October, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So what do we have for Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, first half of October. What kind of energy is around them? We could get a sign, element, or a planet. What kind of energy is around Cancer? Oh, there you go. Yep, one. Okay, and I've, I've people have commented that when I tap the cards or whatever, it's too loud on their ears, so I've never heard that comment before, but if that is so, please let me know. I'm trying to shuffle more quietly, I guess. <laughs> but uh, let's see what we have, Cancer. So we have Virgo. So some of you could have a Virgo, Vir if I can speak, a Virgo <laughs> around you in some way. Could be a sibling, um, friend, coworker. You could have Virgo in your chart, however that works for you. So... All right, so let's see. Let's get a main energy now for um, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? First part of October. First part of October. What message do we have for Cancer? First part of October, Spirit, please. One card for Cancer. Thank you so much. First part of October. And we have strengthen your gifts. So whatever your gifts are, whatever you're talented at, whatever you whatever you can do, this is telling you to strengthen your gifts, whether they're spiritual or if you can sing, dance, I, I don't know. Whatever you do that you're gifted in here, it's telling you to practice that, to maybe get back into it if you've been neglecting um what you enjoy, whatever it is for you, it's telling you to get back into it now. So let's see what's on the back of the bottom of the deck. Look forward. So looking forward and strengthening your gifts. Hmm. Let's see what's under that. So I don't know. Something here about looking forward to the future and strengthening your gifts. So we'll see how that ties in together in some way. All right. So, let's see what's going on for Cancer. First half of October. Cancer. First half of October. What do we have for Cancer? First half of October. What is this strengthening your gifts and looking forward about, please, for Cancer Spirit? Thank you so much. First half of October. So we have the Six of Fire. So that's Fire Energy, Leo Sagittarius. So this is about uh, success and victory, accomplishment, getting and receiving accolades, attention. So getting attention and accolades and having success and victory. Hmm. 
So let's get more energy. Why are you in this energy of the Six of Fire? So let me show my cards out in reverse. So now we have the Six of Earth. So we have Six again. So this is the Six of Pentacles. So this is, uh, he has the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is equal give and take, balance. So something, and it could be, you know, pentacles on monetary, material, work, career, finance, education, that sort of thing. And then you have the four of water. So this is feeling kind of bored, uh, and that's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is feeling kind of bored and contempt and blah. This is my blah card. I always call it the blah card. Just feeling blasé, you know, nothing exciting going on. So, you know, and this is, could be about a possible co offer coming in or going out and unsure about it, whether to give one or unsure if one is coming in sort of energy. So, but you have two sixes here. And sixes to me are all about balancing and healing energy. So you're in the energy of getting, you know, being successful, having accolades, attention, and being balanced. But this energy of feeling blah. Huh. Maybe you were waiting for an offer to come in, some sort of offer here, and it finally came in. And now you're feeling balanced, and you're moving victor uh, forward victoriously as you have looked forward here. So whatever opportunity um, came in here has you looking forward and whatever you're doing now, I think you're really going to be strengthening your gifts or maybe gifts you didn't know you had. Whether if now you're um, being a boss or doing something that you never did before and you're kind of worried about it. You know, this could be you worried about taking that offer if it's something you've never done before. But I, you will balance yourself out. You will move forward, forward victoriously. And I think this... This will be gifts that you didn't know you had, and you will strengthen them in this journey. Okay, so let's clarify this energy for Cancer. On the floor. So now we have the Four of Earth, the Four of Pentacles. And now we have the, the Four and the Five of Earth. So... You know, the Four of Pentacles, Earth energy here. That's at Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Five, both Earth. Four is an energy of, you know, holding on to your stability um, and your structure and your basis of foundation, maybe holding back from others too and others around you. But then you have the Five of Pentacles of being kind of uh, maybe worried about monetary finances um, or having monetary lack. And also feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected for some reason. So, let me see here. So, I'm feeling, hmm, I feel you were worried about your stability, your finances, worried. Um, you may fall behind. And then this offer came into you with the Four of Cups energy that you were kind of worried about taking because you didn't know if you could do it because you have strengthening your gifts. So like I said, it may have been something or maybe something you've never done before and you were worried about that with the Four of Cups energy. But I definitely feel here you will bring, everything will balance out your material, your finance. You'll hold, hang on to your stability. You won't be abandoned and have monetary lack. Um, I think things will balance out. You move forward victoriously. And like I said, looking forward for the future, strengthening your gifts. So let's see what your actual situation is. You know, maybe you thought it was necessary to take this uh, position or this new offer because of not being able to um, get ahead in life as you needed to because you have the Five of Pentacles, which is you know, worried about your finances, you know, not quite making ends meet. And that's why you were scraping and scrimping every little penny here with the four of pentacle energy. All right, so what is their actual situation now? 
for Cancer, the Ten of Fire, the Eight, the Three of Air, and the Messenger of Water. So, yeah, I feel like you were very stressed out and burdened here with the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy here, Leo Sagittarius. Feeling, um, you know, juggling a lot, a lot, doing a lot, trying to make ends meet, feeling very burdened, the weight of stress, everything on your shoulders here with the Ten of Wands. And the Three of Ear here is feeling, you know, this can be a third party, but maybe not. I think maybe you were working, you could have been working up to three jobs, still could not make ends meet. And, you know, and this is feeling very like worried and heartbroken, hurt. You know, three of swords energy, like feeling very, not depressed, but like very, you know, no matter what I do, I'm still burdened. You know, my heart is hurting because I can't get ahead. And then you have the messenger of water. So this is, I believe, the knight of cups, water, that's your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, and you see this little um, seahorse. So I definitely feel like. There was a new offer because you have the Four of Cups there with the offer in hand. There was some sort of new offer presented to you, whether it was a promotion at work um, or something like that, or just a new job offer. Could have been offered to you or you came across it or something here. Because I see you looking at it. Like, do I want to go for this? Do I want to do it? Do I accept it? That's with the Four of Cups energy there. And I do feel like you did because... You have success and victory as your first card and then balance so let's get more clarifiers for your situation your actual situation for cancer all right this one wanted to fly and then this one wanted to come up okay. more clarifiers here so now now we have the messenger of air pay uh the knight of swords now we have the king of earth. So, and this is pentacle energy, so earth energy. So this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn over here. So maybe this Virgo is somebody that uh, offered you this promotion or this new job because this knight of swords here, you know, or maybe you did research online. This is, um, this is the knight of air. I'm thinking of the page of air. But, um, you know, someone rushing in here Maybe somebody rushing in here, offering you something stable here with the King of Air energy, and it could have been a Virgo sign or just any Earth sign. Sorry about the glare there. So that's what I'm definitely feeling, because the King of Pentacles here is somebody who is very smart, analytical, could be a business owner or a uh, manager or something like that. Kind of rushes in here and says, hey, you know, I got this opportunity for you. Are you interested? Wow. All right. So let's see what your advice is in this situation. Wow. All right. So I'm going to take these two. So we have, okay, so here's the hermit spirit confirming, confirming the Virgo energy here, the hermit. Something under lock and key behind this door. Maybe you have your own office now, your own workspace. <laughs> but now we have the king of air, which is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, you know, and again, we have two kings here. So, I mean, this just could be your energy now of king or queen being more stable, secure. And, you know, the king of air is about truth, clarity, communication. Standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, cutting away things, not serving kind of energy with the air energy. Because you have this messenger of air and this king of air together here. So it could have been, you know, this maybe was an air person that came forward um, with an opportunity. Or it could have been an earth, either one, air or earth. Actually, these go here. And then the hermit. So I feel like you definitely had to take some time to think about this. You know, do I really want this? Can I do this here with this hermit energy? So you really had to decide whether or not to accept this here. 
your your advice is to think logically with the king of air energy and to go in and do that inner journey work do i really want this do i can i do it to really think long and hard and logical about this uh, offer or the situation moving forward but i already see success here for you and balance in your situation so let's get extra clarity so now we have the seven of pentacles so this is uh earth energy again this is patiently waiting like planting your seeds and waiting for the harvest so I don't know, maybe you knew that this was coming to you, but you had to wait for it for the right time. For some reason, maybe, you know, you had to wait for somebody to retire or you knew somebody was leaving and you had to wait for them to, you know, work the rest of their um, notice or whatever here. So this is an energy of patiently waiting. So I feel like maybe you even had to patiently wait for this opportunity for some reason. And I think, you know, you had to think long and hard here if you wanted to take it because you knew that opportunity was going to come up here the magician so you can manifest this brand new beginning this is gemini and virgo again so this is manifesting a brand new beginning with all four aces wands for passion and um, moving forward victoriously pentacles for stability Cups for love, compassion, emotions, and swords for truth and clarity. I think I said that. But yeah, you have everything here. You do have it all within you to move forward and manifest this new, this new beginning for yourself. So you can have all this stability, balance, success, strengthening gifts you didn't know you had. Looking forward to a brighter future here. All right, so let's see uh, the possible outcome. Possible outcome for you, Cancer. Possible outcome. Possible outcome for Cancer. The Three of Pentacles. So Earth Energy again. So you'll be working with others. You'll be collaborating, teamwork, um, learning from others, strengthening your gifts by working together and collaborating and learning and growing with the three of pentacle energy and that will be our outcome wow so let's get more clarity with that two more for Cap uh, capricorn wow cancer <laughs> queen of earth so now we've got the king and queen of earth so i really do think that's just going to be your energy of being secure stable and grounded making more money or whatever being financially set um can stand on your own two feet wow and maybe i don't know maybe you're going to work because you do have the king and queen of earth which is a matching couple so maybe you're going to work for a couple who have their own business or something like that and maybe it's a couple you already know and now they somehow have this new position available and they offered to offered it to you maybe they see how you were struggling um with the five and the four and five of pentacles and they knew that you had it within you to uh, do this because here's divine saying that it's the truth of the matter with the ace of airs ace of swords when i get this this is divine energy telling me the truth and clarity of the situation for some of you so libra gemini aquarius brand new beginning truth clarity sword of victory though there's no sword in this card but Usually it depicts a sword, sword of victory, truth, clarity, cutting away what's not serving, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, big aha, realization, epiphany, awakening, and living in that truth and clarity. So brand new beginning here, truth and clarity and success, and your first card was success. Wow, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Two of earth, two of pentacles, so I do feel like you did have to juggle around a lot here before because like I said you couldn't make ends meet um, two of pentacle energy is about balance trying to balance things out now you have the chariot so you will be that's your energy cancer so you will be moving forward victoriously everything balancing out and just going forward with drive ambition and being successful wow 
the tower. So, you know, you might have had this tower moment here. This is Aries, you know, just a big aha moment realization that I just need to do this because, you know, because I have to. It's something that you probably realize here that you just had to do. So, yeah, feeling that you had to do. You were just struggling around too much, trying to make ends meet. But now you're moving victorious, forward victoriously, and that was your first card out. The Six of uh, Wands is sort of like the Chariot, Minor of the Chariot. So moving forward victoriously. All right, so let's get some extra guidance for you. Extra guidance for you, Cancer. The first part of October, extra guidance for messages for cancer. First part of October. All right, for cancer, first part of October. Wow. Wow, so see that? Now we have the Eight of Wands, positive movement forward. You will be moving forward. You have all the cards here of moving forward positively, successfully, victoriously. Wow, that fire, ambition, and drive. Anything else for cancer? Anything. And you see the sun behind there. The sun is all about success, victory, growth, expansion, happiness, and joy, healing, and everything you can think of positive is the sun energy behind you there. Base chakra, exactly. So this is your foundation, your basis. And with the four of pentacles that came out earlier here, over here, um, I think you'll be much more balanced now and you not, you're not gonna have to worry about your foundation or your basis. You'll be much more stable now, moving forward. So you have look forward, wow, you have look forward and you have positive movement forward. Wow. So, being much more stable now. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. I can't, sir. Passion ignited. Now you have the Ace of Wands. So this is another brand new beginning. And you have Base Chakra here, which is one. And then you have the Ace of Swords. So that's three Aces, three Ones, three new beginnings. Passion ignited, moving forward, passionately, drive, ambition. Wow. Two new beginnings. Well, three if you count the base. And on the bottom, we have transformation, which is uh, the death card. So, yeah, I think you will be ending whatever situation you were in that you just were born in and uh, just couldn't make things work. You'll be moving and transforming and going into a better place now. Yep, going into a much more better place, more balance, stability, strengthening your gifts that you didn't know you had, and being very successful. Okay, Cancer, um, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. Um, if something catches your eye, I'd say watch it anyway. I do consider them all timeless, so disregard the dates on them. If you do like how I read, please do like, share, Comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love, so you'll get four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. Good luck to you here in your situation, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.